So Shaq finally puts on the superhero suit and rides off into the night to fight crime. Just give them their stuff back and we won't have a problem. Ain't got no problem. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> okay, okay, where's the hidden camera? By the way, is it me, or is this a very rubbery metal mask? I think this belongs to you. Thank you. Y'all be cool now. Really? An escalator? Can't fly, so you use an escalator? Do not fear! I shall continue to stop crime in the second floor clothing department! Damn, homie! What the hell is that? Oh, hey! I didn't know Angry Joe was in this movie. <laughs> now put the gun down and there won't be any trouble. <laughs> Hammer time. Oh, it's hammer time, huh? What did what's Green Egg and Hammer go out of style? Oh. Actually, you may notice that there's a lot of lines taken from other movies in this film. It's hammer time. It's easy being green. I'm getting too old for this. Let's get ready to rumble. Hold on, the Internet Movie Database may still have some other catchphrases that nobody uses anymore. Let's get juggy with it. So he gets pulled over by the cops because. Oh hell, you need a reason? Damn! He's very unimpressively getting away! <coughs> Damn fool! This is the most unimpressive superhero I've ever seen. Slow and steady wins the race. So he jumps off the building and falls into the garbage where he belongs. Thankfully, he just happened to put his bike right next to that particular dumpster as he outruns the cops and makes it to his quote-unquote shack. Where'd that son of a buck go? The bat cave? We've stolen from just about every other superhero cliche, so yeah, why not? So I guess they consider tonight a success if you count stopping two criminals and causing thousands of dollars in property damage a success. Sparky. I don't know what I'd do without you. Meanwhile, Nelson and the head gangster meet in a public place so that they don't draw attention to themselves. Yeah, because I would never take a second glance at these two clowns, would I? Never underestimate your enemy. And keep your gold out of sight. Eat the hot dog. Don't be one. This is why they had to steal their lines from other movies, because when you hear their normal dialogue, it's pretty bad. So Steele goes looking for more criminals to fight, and yeah, this image really strikes the fear into the hearts of men. A dog, an out-of-work actor, and a muscle-bound light pole in an ice cream truck. They look like birthday entertainers! But the Laser Gun Gang is still on the loose, as they plan to hold up yet another bank. So they break into the place and, as you'd imagine, they never shut the hell up. <laughs> but Sir Blacksalot comes along to save the day. Unfortunately though, the amount of laser guns are too powerful for him to defeat. Wow, is this hero lame. So he visits his grandma's house later where I'm gonna get it right if it kills me. That and they're filming a much better movie next door, so shh. But the souffle of silence is broken by the entry of cops who arrest Shaq under suspicion of being a crummy action star. Yeah, he definitely fits the description. For what? To be the man they call Steel. I gotta say, this movie has great suspense. Like, will she ever finish the souffle? Meanwhile, Nelson is getting ready to auction off all his weapons to all the evil organizations of the world. But just how is he gonna do it? In this day and age, there's only one way. The internet? Damn right. We can pick up all kinds of good crap. Not just porno. Huh. Tell me more about
about this in Tornet? Do you think it'll ever catch on? So through a long, uninteresting set of events, Sparky gets Steel out of jail just in time for her to get captured herself. Steel tries to make it to Nelson's headquarters where he thinks she's being held when suddenly... Okay, this is the worst superhero ever! He just falls and gets shot at! More of that, please! So please welcome Mr. Warm and Fuzzy himself! So they bring out Sparky, display the weapons, and continue on with their evil auction. Now gentlemen, here's the deal. I can supply you with weapons like these uh, sort of you're under release. arrest. But unfortunately, these weapons are highly uh, sophisticated uh, anything electronic you say devices can will be used which require specialized maintenance. Um, you, you, you got a right to an attorney? No, uh, this isn't really about money. If you cannot afford an attorney, should I get up? You won't power. Anyone? No. Now there's an idea. Okay. I'll just stay down here then. You gentlemen think about this. Do you really want to be the only ones without my kind of firepower? My hammer's got more juice than that. I find that hard to believe. I'll let my hammer speak for itself. Just hit it right there on the bottom. Don't turn the red switch. Don't point it to yourself. Don't pull the trigger. Don't fall to the ground like a bloody corpse. Of course, Steel tricks the guy as Sparky tries to hit- Holy shit, that kid's ass! <laughs> Okay, obviously this chick should have been the superhero the whole time. Better tools, better character, better backstory. Something went horribly wrong in development. That's right, fire some more! Because it worked so well in the past! So somehow that annoying kid from before ends up in the mix as one of the thugs locks them in a room and throws a grenade. There's no way out! There's no way out! Up there! Throw it! Quick! I never make these! Alright, bend your knees and- Okay, grenades do not take this long to explode. You can't perform an entire comedy routine while the explosion waits quietly. If this scene was the least bit realistic, it'd be like- I never make these! Alright, bend your knees Now to the film's credit, this scene does lead to one very funny reaction. No! That's a little funny. So they defeat the bad guys, Steel walks away without getting caught, and all the weapons are destroyed. But one crucial piece of information still remains! Did Grandma ever perfect the souffle? <laughs> she did! <laughs> well done, Grandma, well done! And I'm sure it'll be a much better actor than half of the people in this movie! So how bad is Steel? Really bad. People say this killed the comic book movie for a while, well, I can see why. This was just an attempt to give someone who shouldn't have a movie career, a movie career. So they figure giving this guy a lesser known DC comic character would certainly be the way to go. But look at the brass side, at least he didn't play Wonder Woman. And yes, I'm gonna spare you that image. I'm the nostalgic guy, remember it? HA! LET IT HAUNT YOUR NIGHTMARES! Ah!